two, set, plus everything. Hello, we are P1 Harmony, and you're watching our most requested live Ask Anything chat. Our new song called Killing It is out, so please listen to it. Don't forget to support our song Fall in Love Again too. Thanks to Romeo and iHeartRadio for having us on tonight. Let's begin! Woo! Let's go! Jenny from Toronto, Ontario, yes, represent, asks, what surprises should we be looking for from you in the upcoming weeks? Mmm. Oh, uh, surprise. You know, the song itself is a surprise. You know, there's just a lot of fun stuff to it. You know, there's a lot of concepts and ideas that we try. So I'm so excited for you guys to look at everything that we've prepared. Yeah, the, the comeback itself is a surprise. Were you not surprised when you heard we were coming back? Jordan from Milksham UK asks, we're also proud to see all of your writing credits on the new album. When you're writing lyrics, where do you pull inspiration from? Uh, these days, I... Um, in movie. Mm. 영화를 최근에 좋은 걸 봤는데 어, 그 영화에서 굉장히 좋은 단어들이나 좀 쓰면 좋은 표현법? 그런, 것들, 그런 것들을 좀그제 메모에 따로 적어놨었거든요. 그래서 아마 다음 앨범이나 아니면 또 좋은 곡을 쓸 기회가 되면 그럴 때좀쓸수 있는 소스가 있지 않을까 싶습니다. Um, so Intak usually gets a lot of his inspiration from movies, and he's actually recently watched a lot of fun movies that he's gotten a lot of inspiration from. And when he watches these movies, he likes to write down different ideas or even key points or key words, and then he uses them later on in his lyrics. Resma from Yoga Karta, Indonesia asks, to each of you, what song from this album suits you the most? Like, this is my song. Mm. I think late night, calls. late night Calls. It's just so cute. It's just so me. Uh, I think I think Street Star. Okay. Yeah, this song, I like it. I would say Countdown to Love. Okay. Countdown to Love. Mm. For me, killing it. Killing it? Mm-hmm. I like Kung Kung Yi. Mm -hmm. Kung Kung Yi. Killing it? Oh. You guys are the same person then. <laughs> Daryl from San Sebastian, Puerto Rico asks, How was touring in Latin America, especially Puerto Rico, and are you planning on coming back? Mm. Of course. Yeah, of course. The Puerto Rico was very nice, and the people was very nice too, and the show was very amazing. We'll be back soon. Penny from Tampa, Florida asks, What were the fashion inspirations for this new era? Mm. Um, I feel like for this album, we had a lot of different ideas for how we wanted to portray killing it, Dekar. And I feel like for the first concept, the Dekar concept, I was really inspired with Suicide Squad. And I feel like I got a lot of inspir inspiration from that because the story behind killing it is about superheroes, the forgotten superheroes, the people I really wanted to show off. Um, that kind of darker and edgier side to the superhero and you know Suicide Squad they have their own Outfits and their own designs and their own characteristics and charms And I felt like each member should be able to have their own charms like that as well, too. So I was really inspired with um, Suicide Squad and how grungy they are and edgy they are and for the second concept I really wanted to do something very rock star like I feel like a lot of our fans like this rock star vibe that Pew and Harmony does so something that's a little more um, band tees and, you know, cool belts and, you know, jeans, just something very bandy. I want to yeah. do something that conceptual for that. And for the last concept, I was really into like fur so that you could see it throughout the whole entire concept of the thing. Um, I was thinking if we did fur during the wintertime, it'd be so fun. So there was a lot of fur inspirations in there and yeah, I think that's where I got a lot of the fashion inspiration from. Nurena from New York City asks, Who is the most likely to forget their dance moves during rehearsals? Rehearsal mm. 중에? Mm. 영어로 한번 해보세요. Mm, I think mm, Ji Young. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's that true. is true. I saw it. He forgets very easily sometimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maddie from London asks, this isn't a question, but I'm so, so proud of you guys and how far you've come. Wow. Oh, I just, 
질문은 아니지만 이렇게 이렇게까지 성장한 거 보기 너무 보기 좋았다. Thank you. 네. Thank you so much, Maddie. Thanks, And we Steve. love you too. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. And London as well. Andrea from Hawaiian Gardens, California asks, Do you guys ever get emotional seeing how far you guys have come? Yeah. 저는 어 있어요. 그 뭐라고 하죠? 어 저는 되게 투어할 때. 음. 그 이제 저희는 무대에서 관객분들 보잖아요. 되게 그 그때가 되게 느껴져요. 그렇게 그리고 그럴 때랑 그 되게 어디라고 안 말했는데 사람들이 밖에 있을 때 팬들 팬분들이 밖에 있을 때 그럴 때 뭔가 느껴요. 부드다다고. So Sol says definitely when he's on stage and he's performing and he's making eye contact with the fans and just really just seeing them enjoying the show, he really feels emotional sometimes. And also just randomly when he sees them out on the streets and he's able to see them, um, sometimes he gets really surprised at yeah, how far we've came. So he's very thankful. Sibyl from Perth, Australia asks, what's the weirdest place you've ever written lyrics? Mm. Mm. Yeah, sometimes you just get that urge of inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Or on the airplane, we did that. We did a, we did a lot of writing on tour. I mean, they did. Yeah. So yeah. Sometimes I I write my lyrics in Tegishir. Mm. In the waiting room. Yeah, waiting room. That's not. 두라디 두라디 때 많이 그랬던 것 같아. Claire from Baltimore, Maryland asks, "What would you say sets this new album apart from your mini albums?" 제가 생각했을 땐 이번 앨범의 참여도가 전체적으로 훨씬 높은 것 같아요. 이번 안무를 하는 과정에 있어서도 직접 어디 팀에 맡길지 저는 개인적으로 선생님과 상의를 하면서 골랐고 그리고 기호 형은 기획, 의상 이런 쪽에서도 굉장히 신경 썼고 그리고 멤버들 전체적으로 곡에 많이 참여했고 전체적으로 더 많은 참여도가 있었던 것 같습니다. Mm. So Intex says definitely um, what kind of sets this album apart from other albums is that we've actually put a lot of input in our ideas within the album, which made the album so much more genuine and true to us. And so for him personally, he talked to our choreographers and talked about where we should um, choreograph the song and how we should choreograph it and what direction we want to go for it and you know how all the members was really involved in the producing and writing process and also the visual and the conceptual parts as well so it really set the tone different from other from our other mini albums Lexi from Trenton New Jersey asks to all members happy Valentine's Day happy Valentine's happy Day Valentine's Day thank you thank you you know what's a really good song to listen to on Valentine's Day of course I guess what is it Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, go! Take a chance, baby, let's take a chance Yeah, I know he did you wrong, but hey. we're not all bad Don't hold back, baby, don't hold back Can I promise you can fall in love again? Yeah! Yep. Nick from Tijuana, Mexico asks What was the first concert you guys went to? Love you guys! Mmm. It's like a, like a Contemporary concert? It's a concert. It's a show. It's show, a contemporary yeah. show. Yeah. I, when I was younger, I watched a lot of time my dad's show. Cool. Mm -hmm. My dad and I don't remember, but I watched it, my mom's show too. Cheryl from Houston, Texas asks, what's a goal you hope to achieve by the end of 2024? The Killing It is first full length album. It's just, I want to have good results. 저는 하나 생겼어요. 어, 예, 네, 말하세요. 저는 이번 연도 감기 안 걸리게. 오. Oh. To not catch the flu. 아니야, 진짜 많아. 안 걸리는 사람. Not catch the flu or cold this year. Ah, that's impossible. I think that's possible. I'm already, I've already lost that though. 도전! 도전! 도전. How was it? Thanks again for watching our exclusive Ask Anything chat with Romeo and Most Requested Live. Our new song Killing It is out now, so please support. This has been P1 Harmony. Thank you.